Hello YouTube. Um, this today I'm showing you a video how to fix your radio uh, with Mercedes from 2003 till 2009. Um, there, uh, the problem is when you turn on your radio, it just the screen works like this. It goes on for a couple of seconds and then it just goes away. It dies. Um, what what's it doing right now is checking all the modules that is connected to the radio see if they're good uh, there's no issues with any modules it it will work fine but if it just turns on like this stays on for a couple of seconds or a minute or so and it's not working uh, it means one of the modules is bad it's not it's not gonna work the radio is not gonna work um, uh, or there could be a, like a fiber uh, the fibristic wires uh, a bad connection with fibristic wires uh, like let's say if the CD is bad, the CD is connected with fibristic wires to the uh, the main uh, radio to the main system. If the CD is bad, the CD changer is not going to work. So there's a couple of modules. I'll show you the locations or what can you do for them first. Um, there's two fuses here uh, on this location. Um, you can uh, reset reset the fuse the the take out the fuses for a couple of seconds and put them back if it's not going to work then you're going to need to check the modules um, I'm going to be showing you how to check the modules okay first module is the CD changer you don't want to open this so you go for the easy stuff the easy stuff are in the trunk so let's go on the trunk and see which module is bad or we can replace it okay so this is in the trunk this is the navigation system right here if the navigation system is bad we have to um, uh, check it check it first or check the uh, GM module in the back the audio module the gateway it's right here in the back it's all the way in the back um, so the, the, the stuff the easy stuff first you can do is um, buy a fiberistic bypass wire from Amazon or eBay um, this is all the fiber wires this is I took off this fiber wire because my problem was with the navigation system already I figured it out um, the fiber wires they're um they're just i don't know how mercedes why they're dealing with this right now oh, it's uh it's basically uh it's for better sound and faster connection they use fibristic wires okay so <clears throat> first what you want to do um take off there's two screws right here in the, one screw right here in the bottom and two clips right here for the navigation system and then you can just take it off like this. I already took off the screw in the bottom. Um, fiber wires, it's, it goes here, it connects here. So what you want to do is bypass it with the fiber wire you bought from Amazon or eBay. And then you can go check your system. My, my problem was already with the navigation system. So now it's turn on the car. Turn on the stereo. Checking in. All right, you too. Working fine. Everything is fine right now. But let's say if that was not your problem, then what you need to do, second step, is bypass. Let's put this one back first, and then I can show you what you can bypass to see if it's bad or not. I'm not going to use the navigation, so I'm going to leave it bypassed, or I can replace the whole unit and fix the problem. Okay. Um, there's two modules here. Take off your carpet. Okay. There's two screws right here. One screw is here. One screw is here. I took them off. Take this piece off. And you can see... There's this module, and then there's another module right here. This is the fibristic wire right here. You can bypass that and see if it's working, and then you can replace this module from Junkyard or eBay, you can buy it. And this is the second one with the fibristic wire. You can bypass it and, and see if it's gonna work or not. This is the easy steps. Okay, let's go the hard step. If that did not work, then what you need to do is replace that unit or if you have a friend with the junkyard you can go to the junkyard and pull out this unit and replace it this one you cannot bypass it you have to replace it 
And if that did not work, and then can, um, what you can do is bypass the CD changer. After bypassing the CD changer and the gateway mom module in the trunk, if that all of that does not work, then your main unit is bad. But if the main unit is bad, when you turn it on, you, can, you don't see anything in the screen. If it just goes like it goes to the Mercedes logo for a couple of seconds and turns off, and that means one of the modules is bad. Okay.